Hey guys, I'm Joe. Welcome to episode one of Muscle Mini Bike Builds. So this is what we're going to start with. We're going to start with a Tillotson 212 right here. We're going to do uh, a bunch of changes to it, okay? This is the Hemi version of the 212. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this motor completely apart down to nothing. We got a cam, we got a complete new valve train, we got a new head. We're also going to convert it from a Hemi head to a conventional head. Light and flywheel, all aluminum, 24 millimeter flat slide carburetor, gauge roller rockers, chrome molly push rods, billet lifters, uh, the new fire. 265 dyno cam and a bunch of other little things. We have a new head for it as well that was just milled 65 thousandths and we're going to do a little bit of porting on that head as well and let's get this thing going from here and we'll show you what parts we have. What do we got here? We got a table full of parts man. Look at all this stuff. Our friends over at Go Power Sports in Texas hooked us up with everything we need for this build and you know what? We're going to call this the Hot Tilly because it's going to be a hot running Tillotson, a little street motor for your mini bike, your go-kart. But let me show you what we got here to start with, okay? We're going to have, we'll get a, a brand new aluminum catch can. I got all brand new hardware, head studs, side cover studs, valve cover studs, all new header bolts. I got offset keyways for the flywheel. Now I got a couple different ones here because we're going to run a slipstream aluminum flywheel which has 34 degrees of advance in it. And I want to play with some of the advance and bump it up a little bit, so we'll test it with a couple of different keyways. Um, gauge Black Venom 1.3 roller rockers. Look at these things, man. Aren't these things a piece of art? These are just like a piece of, a piece of art. I run these on a couple of my motors. I love them. Okay. Uh, valve cover spacer, so we can run a stock valve cover on it. Kind of keep uh, all the little hot rod stuff hidden, hidden inside. Nobody knows what's going on. I do have a clear valve cover that's going to go on it. Personally, I am not a big fan of these. Long term, they always seem to get a little bit of a crack in them around the bolts. But this is going on a bike that's going to be a show bike that we're putting together. So initially, I'll run this on it just so you can see the pretty valve train. And then eventually, it will get swapped out. Billet lifters, right here. Brand new billet lifters, okay? Chrome molly push rods. Why do I have four? I'll tell you why I have four. We have two different lengths. Once we assemble this motor with the new milled head, I want to check the geometry and make sure we have the right length on the push rods. Brand new set of valve springs right here. These are dual 40 pound springs. The head has already been machined for it. Brand new stainless steel valves are going in it. This is the stock big valve head that we got from Go Power Sports, which takes 27 and 25 millimeter valves. And it's the uh, JT14-12-178 head. It was just milled 65 thousandths by our friends over at AZ Carworks. It's also been set up for the dual valve springs, so that work has already been done. I am going to go in and do some porting, clean up uh, on, the, on the short side of the intake, and just clean up around the, uh, where the valve area is, if you see inside. We'll show you that in, in the upcoming video, how we uh, take all the edges out of it, taper everything, and clean it up. Get a little bit better flow out of it. As we go along here, let's get into the fuel system, okay? Brand new air cleaner, obviously. This is the whole setup, 24 millimeter Makuni flat slide, the real deal, not a Chikuni. New intake manifold, intake manifold boot, all the associated hardware. Comes with its uh, throttle cable and brand new throttle, as well as a vacuum fuel pump to keep this thing pumped full of fuel all the time. The other thing that we got is we're running a slipstream flywheel. These are built in with 34 degrees of advance. Okay, I happen to run this on this flywheel on two other motors of mine. I'm very happy with it. Next, we got a brand new ARC rod. And I got to tell you, when I look at these things, these are like a piece of art, you know? I mean, they're really well made, well machined. They do the job. They hold up 9, 10, 11,000 RPM sometimes. It's just, it's just a real good uh, you know, piece of engineering. So of course we're going to use a, a brand new ARC rod. All new uh, fuel line to plumb the whole thing. 
We have a dual bearing ARC side cover as well. I happen to really like these, one for the bearing and, and the way it seals with an O-ring. They really work well. This is that new cam, okay? This is the Fire 265 cam, and, the, and I've, I've ridden a bike with this cam in it, and it really pulls strong. And, you know, it's got, uh, it's got a good amount of duration in it, it's got a good sound to it, and it just works. So, I haven't built one yet with it, but this is the first motor I am building, running this cam, and I'm really looking forward to getting it in. Finally, to finish it all off, we have a, uh, a three-stage FMB pipe. Uh, Low, low center exit, so that'll be uh, exit out the back, handle the exhaust. And we also are running a brand new flat top piston complete with a new set of rings. So, as you can see, we got a lot of parts here. We got a good amount of work to do. The performance gain should be quite healthy, and I'm looking forward to getting it done. I've been following them online for a while. You guys have seen enough of them be built. You've seen them on the uh, Muscle Mini Bikes page. Some guys have done them. It's just a good little motor. And uh, convert them from the Hemi to the non-Hemi. I'm looking forward to getting that done. So this is what we're building the Hot Tilly for. This is a real deal Temecula Bob frame. About a month ago, I bought a package of four Mini Bikes. Found them in a shed. They were parked for years. And the guy didn't know what they were. I could tell by the pictures that three of them were Azusas. And one that was buried, I couldn't tell what it was. That happened to be this one. So I got there, dug them all out, cut a deal with the guy, bought all four mini bikes. Once I put this thing in the back of my truck and I looked at it, I was like, that's a Temecula Bob frame. You know, it's got the right lines to it, the round hoop in the back. So just to be sure, I posted a picture of it on Mini Bike Nation. And immediately, everybody knew what it was. So I reached out for uh, Bob, sent him a, a message on Facebook. He looked at it and said, yep, it's one of mine. I asked him when, you know, any idea or how old it was. He said about 15 years ago. So that got me to thinking. You got Joe's Mini Bike Reunion coming up here in, uh, oh, a couple, six, seven weeks. You know, you know, maybe, yeah, maybe seven weeks. And I got two bikes I'm building. One's a 65 Rupp Continental. And I was going to do a early 70s Roman Nova that needs to be restored. And then this thing fell into my lap. Well, I decided this bike is the bike that's got to get done. This bike is the bike that I'm going to reveal at uh, Joe's Mini Bike Reunion, uh, October 19th in La Crescenta, California. Um, and I'm going to redo this whole bike, and it's going to get the hot tilly. So we're looking forward to it. The motor that's in it now is presently it's locked up, doesn't turn over. It sat outside, so I think it got water in it, rusted up the, uh, the cylinder. Uh, didn't know what it was, typical clone, 196, 212 motor. It says JD on the valve cover. Come to find out, it's actually a John Deere branded 196 clone. So I'm going to hang on to it, take it apart, see what the inside of the motor looks like. Maybe I can save it, maybe not, who knows. But at least I'll keep it. The bike itself, uh, I am probably going to change the front forks. Don't know yet. If not, I'll send them out and get them re-chromed. But I may change it and put a suspension front end on it. The frame itself, I am not touching. I love the look. I love the line. I love, I love the, the, the rounded uh, rear tube, the way the rear legs drop out. It's just, it's just a good-looking frame, and it's got its own look when you look at it. I am going to get rid of the scrub brake. I am going to put a disc brake on it. Um, and, of course, new tires and, uh, and repolish the wheels and stuff like that. So for the most part, the bike's going to stay the same. Color. Don't know yet. It's going to go with maybe a lime green, possibly an orange, but I think I settled. I'm going to go with a, a, a silver, a natural aluminum silver color, probably a silver and red seat, and uh, some red highlights, you know, anodized red or candy red here and there and a couple of things. So that, that, that's probably going to be the plan. But you'll see this bike with this built motor, the Hot Tilly, at uh, the Mini Bike Reunion in October in California, so definitely check it out. But in the meantime, let's move on to the build and let's get started on this motor. I'm really looking to dig into it and get going. Well, thanks for watching episode one. I hope you liked it. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, notifications. Look in our description below, see a list of all the parts that we're going to be doing on this build. 
and uh, links for everything else will be in there. Make sure you follow us on our uh, Facebook page and on Instagram. See you next time.